What's going on everybody, my name is Aiden and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, with a little bit of magic, uh, the Chicago Bulls ended up picking up a very big victory against the Washington Wizards. We actually kept the team to below 110 points, which is a miracle in its own right. It shows that there was a little bit of wizardry in there, and the Chicago Bulls actually in my eyes at least, played a game that was enjoyable to watch. Played a game where I could be satisfied on both ends of the court. Now, I'm not saying the Bulls were amazing on the defensive end, but again, we kept the team to 108 points. I know the Wizards are 2-14 two, two and 14 or something like that. They're not the best team in the league by any stretch of the means, but it's still something I'm going to take. It's still something that I'm going to be happy about, and at least I'm going to be coming into this game reaction not necessarily frustrated because we only played one half of basketball, and by that I mean we only played offense. At least today I could say there was a little bit of defense in the game, and let's talk about it in this video. But before we get any further, if you like the video and you want to see more from me, drop a like, drop a follow and or subscribe if you are new and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Chicago Bulls their game today and your player of the game as we win this game 127 to 108 once again our offense was firing on all cylinders and I would like to classify this type of game as a team effort a team type of game so many guys entered double figures today not really one person stood out amongst the rest but it was a very very solid effort from everybody everybody contributed in one way for more fashion it was truly a delight to watch from that perspective but we actually had a good defensive quarter in one of the quarters. And that is the second quarter, ladies and gentlemen. They scored 18 points only, the Washington Wizards, while the Bulls escalated the lead to 40. And that's where we really got our dominating factor from. And that's kind of how we took the lead and we took the reins and we continued to, I guess, shine in those games. We outscored the Wizards in three out of the four quarters, which is quite impressive. But ultimately, the second quarter is where I think the game was won. It's because we kept the Wizards to 18 points in that quarter. Now, again, you can specify that it's just the Wizards. You could specify that we didn't need to play amazing defense to contain them. Whatever the case may be, 18 points against any team in the league, whether they're good or bad, if you can contain them to that amount, that's a very strong quarter for you. And I would say the fact that we dropped 40 in that quarter as well specifies how good the Bulls were in that area. But ultimately, again, a good team game. A game where I felt like when the starters came out and the bench came in, things didn't really lose that big of momentum the bench contributed the starters contributed everybody were playing with each other this is the type of game i would consider this one of the best games of the season for the chicago bulls and the fact that this was done in the nba cup um means so much more to me in my opinion let's be honest the nba cup is something last season we got absolutely destroyed in, in almost every game. So to kind of have a chance at qualifying, going through, I know we have to beat Boston and stuff of that nature. That's not going to be an easy task. And maybe there is a chance we can beat Boston. But um, I still believe that there's a chance. And I still believe that what we're doing right now, all you could do is give yourself the opportunity. When you face the Washington Wizards and you're putting points up, especially in the last couple of minutes when points matter, the Bulls were doing that. The Wizards didn't take too kindly to that either. There were a lot of unnecessary fouls, let's say, in that game. Regardless, regardless of what you may think, you put yourself in the position to give yourself a chance. And giving yourself a chance, that tends to be how you win. And that tends to be how you qualify. So look, that Boston game will be fun. That Boston game will be electric. And if the Bulls win that, we are basically through. And I will take that every day of the week. I know we're not the greatest team in the world, but at least there's a chance there. And I'm happy with chances. So yeah, very, very happy with this game thus far. But we talked about how team contributants it was, how everybody played a role, how everybody played a factor. I think it's only fair to mention the scoring that the Bulls produced in this game and how equally balanced it was. Starting with Zach Levine. Normally, Zach Levine is the type of guy that gets 26, 27 points and was and dominates on the offensive end. Today, he only had 18 points. But that's okay, because everybody else really stepped up in that way. Io, 12 points in the game. That's pretty solid. Vucevic, with a 19 point and 12 rebound performance. Let's not forget how big of a first quarter he had for the Bulls. He scored our first six points and he was... And he was cooking in that first quarter, especially at the very beginning of it. So I'm very impressed with that. Kobe White, 21 points. Kobe White's the type of guy where he'll get hot in one quarter and that will be his main claim in that type of game. It's kind of how I felt in this timeout. But 21 points is very, very good. Josh Giddy, 11 points and 8 assists. 
Not necessarily the biggest score of Josh Giddy, but facilitating really well was very, very good in this game. And again, when Josh Giddy is viable on the offensive end, he's very hard to stop. So that's really impressive. Julian Phillips had eight points. Um, Jalen Smith had 12 points and nine rebounds. Bazellas had nine points. I'm really liking that Bazellas is getting more minutes, which is great. Um, and Taylor Horton Tucker, who for the past week now has had really good games off the bench for the Chicago Bulls. So, so well balanced all the way around and again it's the type of game that you're always going to have fun watching and it's the type of game that everybody's going to be enjoying to enjoy participating in so i'm very very happy with the bulls we'll see what happens in the next game my main question now is can they keep it up because there were a lot of positives in that game the the scoring was well balanced and the defense was there in some parts I want to see what they do in that next game because if we end up going into the next game and we see 140 points again conceded on us or even 120 points conceded on us, then you would have to beg the question, was there really any improvements from the Wizards to that game? Maybe it was just the Wizards just not being good enough and therefore the Bulls, they don't have any claim on that defensive end. That's what I'm looking for now. So in that next game, can we really contain the team? I'd like to see what happens there. I don't have any questions about the Bulls' offense. I'm fully convinced the Bulls' offense will be good the entire season. I think we'll be good offensively. I really do. Too many guys have really stepped up to the plate offensively. Vucevic having a great year on, on the offensive end. Zach Levine has been super efficient. Kobe White on any night can give you 20. Io has really started to find his scoring group. We've got guys off the bench like Jalen Smith that can give you a couple of threes in a game and is good in good in the post. Um, Dale and Terry, I know he didn't have a good game today, but he's been tripping in with points. Taylor Horta Tucker can score. We've got scorers on this team. It's definitely not my worry. The defensive end, I can't wait to see what happens next game. And maybe this is the start of turning it around on that end. Or maybe it's a one-hit wonder. The Wizards were poor. The Bulls took advantage. And then we go and concede 140 points. Maybe that's what we end up seeing. Who knows? We'll have to figure that out in that next game. But with my player of the game, this one is a bit tough because I think everybody played a factor. You could give it to a guy, for example, like a Taylor Horton Tucker, the way that I see it. Because bench contribution, I think, is a big part of the game. And when you have someone chipping in with 13 points, and I, only, I think he only missed a shot in this game, that's pretty impressive. Um, you could give it to someone like that. You could give it to someone like Nikola Vucevic, who had a double-double. Strong start to the game. And again, if it wasn't for Vucevic, I think this game could have really slipped the other way. Because we had a poor start to the first quarter. If it wasn't for Vucevic's hot start... I don't know where the Bulls could have been. This game could have been a completely different story. Uh, so you know what? I might give it to Vucevic. I really think he could be the guy to give it to with 29 minutes, 19 points, and 12 rebounds. Um, but again, you can make a claim from almost anybody on this team, and I would give you a valid argument as to why they could be the player of the game. That was the type of game that we watched today, ladies and gentlemen. With that being said... Um, outside of a couple of fouls I wasn't happy with from the Wizards and, you know, uh, a couple of free throws and, and stuff of that nature, free throw discrepancy, there was not too much to hate about this game uh, against the Wizards. But our next game is against the Orlando Magic. Now, if we could contain the Orlando Magic, I would be very impressed by that. Now, Orlando is not the best offensive team in the world, so maybe there is a possibility we could do that. But again... Um, that should be quite interesting. We'll see how that goes. It is a back-to-back, -back, I believe. So, yeah, we'll see it. Again, we're going to have to see how that one goes as well. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned for more. Take care, and peace.